Good evening, everyone. My name is Frida Nguku, and welcome to Gas Talk. Remember, tonight is another Wednesday, and every Wednesday at 9.30, every single Wednesday, 9.30 p.m., we have Gas Talk, and we talk about matters uh, surrounding women, matters affecting us as ladies out here, and we allow you guys to engage with us. We allow you to come on board and tell us what you think about the different topics that we host every single day. And tonight, we are talking about questions we wish we asked on that date it could be a first date it could be a second date but that day that you're like i wish i asked that question that is our conversations tonight so engage us on the comment section remember hashtag is gas talk and hashtag at in heart and to help me do that is my very amazing co-host i don't know whether it's such a word but anyway welcome on board nyanduko nyaputo mwite nyanduko 254 hi Hi, how are you doing? I am good. I'm happy to be here. I missed you all last week, but I'm here. Ah. And you're going to talk about these questions because where it is the first step towards knowing the kind of person and to know if you're going to go on another date with them or not. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's an important conversation. All right. Karibu sana and you look great. (laughs) Guys, we are here to rock the show. Um, Coming on board again is that amazing, beautiful co-host, Noreen Ambata. Where are you, girl? Join (laughs) us, join us tonight. Noreen, mambo. (laughs) Poor Sana, how are you doing? You guys, you you ladies look amazing. I'm so excited about today's topic. I am so excited. Why are you excited, Noreen? Why are you excited? I can't wait to see the kind of questions Nyanduko wish to have asked on that date and even Frida and the rest of the and the rest of the audience. So I'm so excited. You, you'll get to know what I also wish to have asked. Yeah. All right. Remember, guys, uh, remember to put the hashtag, hashtag gas talk, hashtag at in heart. And remember, we're always live on YouTube, the Art in Hatch official site for YouTube. So watch us from there and share this link. Tell your friends to come on board. All right, now let's get on to it. As always, to Liandakwa Street, we went out there and we spoke to some of you and we wanted to know, what are some of these questions that you really wanted to ask? But unfortunately, things happened or probably you were like, you know what, I'm not going to ask. And then later on, you're like, uh, I should have asked. So we got someone and this is what they had to say. Take a look. I think the question I will have asked at first and the question that I asked first before I dated after that is, are you married? Do you have children? (laughs) I think we ignore asking that question because we think every time a guy wants to date you is because he's not married, but it's not the truth, people. So he was married when he was coming to meet me you would remove the ring but because of my naivety i'll not even tell if that was happening so i had dated this guy for like one and a half months before i realized that he had a wife and a child and i was so 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 uh, guilty and heartbroken so that's it my people that that is my experience It is how she's saying, I was so guilty. I felt so good. <laughs> no, really, for one and a half months, that's Cairo. For one and a half months, she <laughs> dated this guy and she didn't know the guy was married with a baby. Only to come and realize, oh my goodness, this guy is married. And there's something she said, yeah, that I would like you mm-hmm. to react on. Uh, she said, um, when when guys are dating, when their guys are coming to us and they want to date us, let's not assume that everyone there is not married. That we should not assume that they are not married. What's your take on this? Uh, what Carol says about asking about marriage, Noreen? Uh, it is very, very important to ask the mm-hmm. relationship status of uh, uh, someone that you're going, to, you're looking at as a partner. 
you know, because mm-hmm. at this point, you're not very sure if you're getting into that relationship or if it's going to work or not. So it is very important for you to ask about their relationship status. But again, this is a, this is a point where someone takes advantage and says, mm-hmm. if I mm-hmm. tell the truth, this person will not want to get along with me, you mm-hmm. know. And mm-hmm. now this person decides to meet a feature ring. Then mm-hmm. after hiding my ring, the next thing is I'll just say I'm not married so that they get together. And for me, that really that really doesn't add up. You need to be truthful from the first uh-huh. time I'm meeting you. Because I don't need to be at a place where I'm regretting, at a place where I'm feeling guilty, as she says. Yeah. Yeah. And let me let me ask you, yeah, do you feel like Adnanduko this is coming to you? Do you feel like this is too much on a first date? Let let's assume it's a first date. You've just probably met this guy, you guys have spoken, maybe I'm joining meet face to face, and then he's like, Can we meet and probably get to know each other? Is this a fast question when it comes to first date? Are you married? Nyanduko? Um according to me, Frida, I think uh-huh. like it depends on whether you are uh you're dating for fun. You know, people date for okay. different reasons. If you're dating yes. to have fun, if you're dating to mm-hmm. get married, it's a very important mm-hmm. question. Uh, mm-hmm. And it is an important question whether you're dating for fun or you're dating to get married. It's good to know whether uh-huh. this person is, is married or not so that you can make your decision based on mm-hmm. an informed, like from an informed point of view. It is it is not uh, something you want to come and realize somewhere in the middle of it and you're like, mm-hmm. well, this person was married. It's better if you are aware mm-hmm. from the word go if this person is single mm-hmm. or not. So it's a very important question to ask whether you want to settle or you are dating for mm-hmm. fun. So it is basically and generally a very important question to ask on an, on a mm-hmm. first date, on a first date actually. It's very important to ask so that you don't end up dating a person for one month and mm-hmm. a half, like Taro, or even a year. And they hide their ring and meet you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then you feel <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's that there's that guilt that comes with it, by the way. And and I have had ladies out here say, I've, I dated him for three years. I didn't know he was married. And especially if the wife is not mm-hmm. so close to the guy, you know, maybe an Aishi <laughs> Bali or something. It becomes a problem. You find yourself in problems. But anyway, I want to come back to you guys and I want to ask you that question, that one question that probably you regret not asking on that day. But before you do that, let's get on the comment section and get to know who is on board and what do they have to say about this question. Bonfess, uh, Witaba says watching. Karibu sana Bonfess and thank you for coming on board uh, on Gas Talk. Maureen, you have Karibu sana in the building, locked in. Karibu sana, we see you. Tell us on the comment section that question that you wanted to ask and you never asked. Evelyn Jenki, Karibu sana, first one here. Hey, Kamakawa, Kamadawa, Karibu sana to Gas Talk. Uh, Kevin T.D. says to go on. Yes, Kamakawa, yes, yeah, Karibu sana. Karibu sana. <laughs> yes, Karibu sana. Uh, Questions I wish I anyway, guys. Remember the hashtag is gas talk, hashtag at in heart. And the question is, what is that question that you wish you asked on that date? It could be a first date, it could be a second date. Noreen, do you have a question that you later on were like, I, I wish Ninja Lisa is one? Tell us, tell us your experience. <laughs> Personally, I don't have any question that I regret I did not ask. But uh-huh. um this is i'll take it as a general maybe from us ladies the questions that mm-hmm. uh at some point most ladies regret for not asking mm-hmm. it might seem uh too petty but mm-hmm. when you go deeper by the way uh it makes a lot of sense so mm-hmm. um this is the question people are used to ask you what do you like like for me ladies i i know most ladies are regretting right now when when you're dating already already in that relationship and you're Mm -hmm. regretting why didn't i ask what they don't like you know it's not just what they don't like generally even what Mm -hmm. they don't like about what don't you like about me you know it's not just about wow but what don't you like about me so that when you tell me what you don't like about me it will be upon me as a lady to know by the way uh mr so-and-so doesn't like this about me how do i go about it if it's something that i can change then i can mm-hmm. change but now let's not take offense when someone tells you by the i don't like the way your eyebrows are shaped uh, <laughs> take, it, take it that way and try and find something that you'll do better to make him happy with 
how you appear, you know. It's hey, not just no, about really. the eyebrows, it's even yeah. about the character, you know. I, have, no, I, 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 I am very conflicted about what Noreen is saying right now. Me too, no. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm, like, oh. I'm like, no, Nyanduko, uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> I honestly have an issue with the fact that you would want to change for, uh, like, you know, I, I honestly have an issue with that, but, you know, it's, it's mm. your opinion. I think... um. I think asking what a person does not like about you on a first date is a bit, mm. you know, uh, because it's a first date, it's, it's mm. a bit, you know, I, I feel like a person should get to know you first before they get the mm-hmm. opportunity to even tell you what they, mm-hmm. because it's a first meeting, Noreen, or you've been talking on phone and you're meeting for the first time. And it's, it, it's a bit too fast to ask a person, what don't you like about me? So, but you know, okay. it's, it's, it's a question. Let me, I think let me, personally I'd ask, uh, before I give it back to you, Noreen, personally, I'd okay. ask, like the chick said, I'd want to know if they're married, if they're married, mm-hmm. what their take mm-hmm. is on the, the whole marriage institution, what they, mm-hmm. like what's their take on marriage, what's their take mm-hmm. on uh, kids, religion, mm-hmm. and tradition. Mm-hmm. What, is their, what, is their, what are their tra- traditional beliefs? You, you date someone, and then somewhere along the line, you realize that uh, their culture, they... Slaughter first ones. Okay, I'm not saying it's something that happens. Noreen, back to you. Okay, Frida, uh, and Yanuko, yes. before I just get to what you've just told us right now, uh, mm-hmm. this is the thing. You know, we have been talking, we've been, we've been chatting all the time. There are those people who like calls every now and then. Like every five mm-hmm. minutes, you need to call me. You need to text me, you know. And this other person doesn't like mm-hmm. those things. that he te- Texting every time, calling every mm-hmm. time, it is not mm-hmm. for them, you know. So mm-hmm. uh, it is right for this guy to tell me, by the way, I don't like it when I'm mm-hmm. texted too much, you know. I'm oh, okay. text now, a now that is, now that yes. is better, yeah. yes, now that... So, is- better <laughs> yes yes because now that that has moved from me as a person to probably yeah. that situation in what terms of i don't like being texted yes mm-hmm. not necessarily what you don't like about me um moving mm-hmm. along you um do you have question that you are like uh, or do you have friends who've had questions later on who they discuss with you and they like i wish i waited longer to ask this question so it was a question I, that I, uh, I actually... they, I actually uh-huh. have something to say on that note, Frida. Um, they, uh-huh. This discussion on kids, I think it's an important mm-hmm. discussion before you decide where mm-hmm. the relationship is going. Uh, and I'm yes. talking from a, a context where you're dating for a long term. It is not for the fun. Yes. You know, the fun mm-hmm. If you're dating mm-hmm. for a long term, I think the kids in the story is very important because you date a chick and then somewhere along the line, she tells you, yo, mm-hmm. Mimi, I don't want to have babies. So, you know, mm-hmm. I, I I am not cut out for this baby stuff. So mm-hmm. if it's not if it's not a conversation you had had, if you have it from the word go and you realize it's a deal breaker, then you just stop mm-hmm. it there. Before, you know, the emotions involved and all that, and now it's too hard to leave the person. Now you have to comp- compromise on very serious morals that you're not ready to compromise about. Mm-hmm. So uh, mm-hmm. I think asking about kids is it's very key. important. It is, it is not key. But it is very important. <laughs> <laughs> I I actually I feel like I would disagree with you, uh, Nyanduko, mm-hmm. on my part. I feel like I wouldn't want to know whether you want to have kids because this is something I've learned. Yeah, mm-hmm. I feel like um, as time goes by, depending on the person you are with, people change their minds. People change their minds depending on the person or not. With. So or not. or not. Yes or not. Yes. Now uh, I wouldn't want to ask that on a first date. Of course, later I would like to know, but on a first date, I feel like that will feel like that will make the man feel like, uh, okay, who you kwani and that after watoto, I'm a I can be a very good baby daddy, or I can be a very good <laughs> father. So she's here, and I feel this like is the I feel me. Yes, it's yes, a husband, yes. but again, I, I feel like you're about to date this person so you get to know whether they actually want to get married or, you know, all those things. Yeah. But I feel mm-hmm. like that would be a very a very extreme kind of question to ask on a first date, but again, mm-hmm. it's your opinion yeah. and it matters. It matters a lot. <laughs> I feel like we, oh, we all have different uh, opinions. We'll be taking a very, very short break. We'll be right back as we discuss more on this. And again, someone gave us um, their question, so Take a look. Eh. Hi there. 
Kweli tuko na offer na isikupite ajoima call papers and deco we have quality wall papers wall mirrors and contact papers to beautify that space of yours currently we have selected wall papers on offer for 1050 Kenya shillings per roll a roll is 10 meters by 0.5 meters so technically a normal wall will take 2 to 3 rolls we deliver and install countrywide get in touch with us on 07869 and we will help you build a happy place wali moja ni uje uliza mse kwa maisha yako uli regret them you were supposed to ask a lady but you didn't ask the lady shida badai what question was that I got to interview I'm um, studying so MC uh, some MC interview today bona dina ke me nipotezea sasa bona dina imeenda anyway I got to interview him and he was like I asked him what is that question you'd have asked your girl and he was like huyu mtoini wangu and we all busted it came out so naturally we all busted and we're like ha huh, dude so coming back to you guys Um mm -hmm. I guess when you get to that point where you are asking someone um toini wangu kuna vile unashuku things have been yeah. happening you know it's not a fast date you guys probably have gone on on several dates um mm -hmm. do you feel like there are people out here who really are bringing out other people's kids and they don't know <laughs> yeah yes yeah. yeah. yes and, and i don't want us to get deep into that discussion but uh, people are actually uh -huh. kids here they do not tire and some know some do not know because ladies mm. are sneaky girls can be sneaky <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sometimes we have this guy who is, who is a very good mini who is a very good uh -huh. uh, boyfriend and then you have this uh -huh. other one who is a very good who, who who can make a very good father so you go make ama the one ama one oh. who has very good looks and one who <laughs> has bad material so you combine them <laughs> and lie to one anyway. <laughs> No, that, 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 that then you'll tell then you'll tell this other one uh um toto surake ni huko kwetu anafanana na mimi yangu kwa my grandmother side yes but let's not, let's not get into that freezer because that is oh, another sour, sour. I, <laughs> that is a topic we need to discuss one of these Wednesdays. anyway let's get on to the comment section and see romi roy says hello ladies hello romi and thank you so much for for joining lena jacob says norina butter on a first date they of course won't open up because they simply don't know you well I agree. Yeah, I think true. that is the point where Norin said what you you know like about me. Karo Ticha, this is the lady actually who sent us the first clip. Karo Karibu sent the building. I am here lovelies. Hi Karo and thank you so much for coming on board. Who else is there? Lena Jacob hashtag Atin Hart hashtag Gastop tuned in. Karibu sana Jacob. Thank you. Hey, ladies, are you new Muhati? Ah, this is a new one. Tuned. Karibu sana. Tell us on the comment section what are some of those questions you wanted to ask and you never asked. Eli Lukiani locked yeah. in number 9 Mgongoni. <laughs> sawa, sawa Eli, we you get your heart in heart. Uh make sure you join us tonight. I mean, remember we are live on Facebook, we are live on YouTube, the Heart in Heart official. So, ingia uko, share the channel guys and let people subscribe and join in because we have amazing discussions every single time. Makomara Gilba says nyanduko nyanduko. Ala Ala Tinduba Damas the most says hashtag at in hat niko hapa karibu sana tell us ni nini uje uliza ni nini uje uliza unataka kuuliza Karo Kinya says tune karibu sana and thank you so much for joining us moving on uh we'll get someone else who decided uh to tell us more about um some of the questions she wished she asked so let's take a look Ju anapenda chapati na hana pan. Uliona ile mimi msichana mwenye anaendaka kwa boyfriend na pan. Huyo msichana ni mimi. Si. Ntaendelea kuna beba pan. Kuna beba pan is like from your hostel to his hostel. Yes, nilikuwa naeka pan kwa Kibeti. Ninaenda kufikia boyfriend. Lakini wewe yandu, how are you even? Yaitwa mke nyumbani. Nyanduko, I feel like you should have asked that guy whether kuna pesa ya kupia. I should have asked. I should have asked. 
are you going to make me cook and carry chapatis from my place to your place every day? But anyway, um, that is a, you, you see, those are the questions I never asked, that this African man yeah. loves chapatis. If I had asked, I would have known that, hey, this is not the man for me. But you know, I know. basically, uh, <laughs> studio decided, decided to embarrass me again, again, Hi. for a 40th time. <laughs> <laughs> just in case you're wondering where that clip is coming from that was one of the discussions we had uh on gas talk uh sometime wednesday uko back so you can always go back and watch the clips guys and just leave a comment Nyandoko, mm -hmm. huh? do you think now that you are carrying a pan to your then boyfriend do you think achievements it's something you need to ask your man on a first date like what are some of the achievements you're proud of do you feel like that's something you need to ask I, I need to know I need to know whether you're working or not, and it is not because I'm materialistic uh -huh. or anything. I need to know about mm -hmm. your financial, uh, your financial. Like, what do you do? What do you do? You know, what are your mm -hmm. ambitions? Mm -hmm. What are your dreams? Mm -hmm. What motivates you? What drives you? You know, mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't want to date a guy who wakes up and decides today we are Netflixing and chilling the entire day, <laughs> and we do not have a pan, mm -hmm. and now I have to go to my place and bring my pan to cook for us. I do not mm -hmm. want to be, you know, to be to be dating a guy whose small achievements scare him, or a, a girl who is outgoing, a girl who is uh, hands on on stuff, make make mm -hmm. them feel like they are being intimidated or like you're taking their mm -hmm. role as a man. So I would want to know. I would want to know what like what like, you're mm -hmm. about a girl who is hands on, a girl who is you know who, who wants to achieve stuff on their own you want to know if you were getting into a relationship where the guy expects you to stay at home and do laundry you know you need to know if that is the yeah. kind of girlfriend you yeah for. yeah mm -hmm. and 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 talking of that nyanduko there are sometimes uh ladies go out there and they meet men who are very stable financially uh, you know the mm -hmm. guy comes and he's rolling you know he's got the money you can tell there's money here mm -hmm. and then there's this mm -hmm. question you want to ask in terms of what does this guy really do? But then you don't ask because there's that fear. The fear Stability. of... Uh, yes, there's that fear girls, that comes... You, from, you yes. saw that meme that they say that the girls out here are dating boys and they're afraid to leave them because the dude has a fridge and a microwave. <laughs> <laughs> behind the scenes because i had a friend knowing yeah before you come in i had a friend who was like i dated this guy for close to one year and the whole time the guy was comfortable coming to my place so the whole time we dated the guy would come we'll sh and he will come carrying shopping he will take me out we'll do all that well dressed mm -hmm. and all that only to realize that this guy was a leader of a gang in kibera and this happened later the lady is like i never really ask this guy what he does. He says, I do business. Noreen, she says, mm -hmm. what do you do? I do business. And they I can't really business. say what kind of business. Yeah, business. I do business legit. <laughs> mini <laughs> hustler. <laughs> ah, mini hustler. What kind of that's a... Yes, do it's you It's important do? to know. Yes, Noreen. Uh, it's really very, very important to, mm -hmm. to know the kind of jobs these people are doing because some money can really, okay, some wealth can scare you especially uh when you go to okay uh how has been your life all this time you know then mm -hmm. all of a sudden boom nikona pesa nikona gari nikona nyumba nikona fridge na microwave the way nyanduko is putting it you know so it is very important to know <laughs> yeah it's very important to know where this money is coming from so that mm -hmm. you don't get yourself into a mess you know because yeah somehow someday someone will say wanna collaborate mm -hmm. then you'll get yourself yeah. at a very awkward position that you don't know how to get out of it and yeah. it will have already been a mess yeah wow then another and that thing becomes... that i think i should uh, i should add on uh -huh. that before mm -hmm. comes in, uh, mm -hmm. it is also good to know okay uh what has been your lowest moments you know because, yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm going to pay so easy. But mm -hmm. before Pate Pesa, how was it like? You know, how did you, how was the steps towards you achieving what you've achieved right now? Uliyamu katu baba kakubari ya kakwambi ndoyo maliangu kijana chukua? Ama did you just wake up one morning wakasema eh, prophet wa mungu wa meniombea and now I'm rich? How did you mm -hmm. get to that point? Yes. Ah. 
Eh, eh, Norina okay. kwambia on, on your first days Norina nakaa tauliza maswali kijana ubilaeke like, hey, Norina, Norina, Norina ask you who was your Sunday school teacher I want to know yes but anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think girls uh-huh. out here especially girls who are dating affluent men they're getting intimidated yes. by the fact that these people are so well off Ama they're, like, they're trading their, their everything their integrity to mm. take selfies up or short gun it is not worth it Ask those questions. Yeah. Do not be scared. Mm. Do not be yeah. scared to ask those scared. questions. Ask them, ask them how their relationship relationship is with their family. How do they relate yes. to their yes. parents? Mm-hmm. How how yeah. like what is their take? What is family to them? What does family mean? You know? Exactly. What, what, what mm-hmm. does it yeah, you know, there are people who do not even talk to their parents. They just have the money here in Nairobi when they go to mm-hmm. the village when Alala na kuku. But you have to ask <laughs> them questions. And Alala na mbuzi. You have to know. <laughs> And uh, I also think that now that we're talking about questions you ask on a date, uh, mm-hmm. Frida said it could be a first, it could be a second. I think the first date is basically where you get to know this guy. You get to know what they stand for, what they represent, what they do. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Well, their, religio- their religious background, that is according to me. And then on a second mm-hmm. date is where you ask them their take on family, mm-hmm. their, take, uh, their take on mm-hmm. relationships. What, who is mm-hmm. that woman to them? Who is a girlfriend to you? What does it mean when I am your girlfriend? You know, yes. you need to know uh, yeah. about the person mm-hmm. before I, I take and, and them. It's very <laughs> true. Because uh, unajua, some people mm-hmm. unajua, once they, are, they have girlfriends, mungina mm-hmm. atasema, eh, kama ni girlfriend ye ni bibi, you're automatically a, a wife. You know, mm-hmm. now you have to go to their houses and do wifey duties. Yeah. Because you're a girlfriend and you're girlfriend. Girlfriend to be a wife. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Noreen, say, yeah. Uh, and, and, and now that you're talking about wife and duties and all those things, I feel like uh, when you get to that point where you want to get into the details of family, I mm-hmm. feel like there's a way you can frame this question so you ask them without sounding like you're being too much. Like uh, making them their personal question because when you get to family, that's a personal question. When you get to money, that's a personal question. But you can get to a point where the way you ask these questions will help the guy answer without feeling like you you're attacking them. Like you would ask, um, what are you afraid of? What's your take? What do you think about money? Is money important? As in, you're framing money is a very sensitive question, but you're yeah. framing that question to. To sound to the guy is um, I'm not getting so personal. I'm not getting so into you, uh, you know, into mm-hmm. your personal life. But I just want to get something without feeling like um, I'm digging too much. You can also ask um, what makes you happy. You know, what makes you happy? Mm-hmm. That, that helps the guy give you feedback that will tell you a lot. Like Noreen, if I was to ask you now, what makes you mm-hmm. happy? Give me an answer to that. What makes you happy? <laughs> Good life. <laughs> Good life. <laughs> good life is, is good life. Good life, life is, comes with money. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not uh-huh. just a, it's not about money alone. But mm-hmm. uh, I will be specific. Be specific. Mind. What makes you happy? Peace of Give me mind. two things that peace of mind. You see now. Now mm-hmm. that is something like a, a little bit more specific. Like you value your well being as a person. Leave alone the outside stuff. You value that. So as much I want to dig more to you, but Nikikuliza, what makes you happy? You feel like it's a very general question, but in recent exactly. it allows me exactly. to get a lot from you. Anyway, yeah. let's get onto the comment. Uh huh. Kabla. And I and I love to get the comment section. Oh, okay, Tawa. So no, na kama your peace of mind. Once uh-huh. I told you peace of mind, so you mm-hmm. as a person. Let's say mm-hmm. you are the minister. You're asking me, okay, yes. Lauren, just say peace of mind. What gives mm-hmm. you peace? Exactly. And now I'll mm-hmm. get deeper in Kwambia, by the way. Niki on a job, ama niki on a business. So it will it will direct me into telling mm-hmm. you about my financial instability or stability. Ah, uh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, All right. Get back to that. Uh, yes. Let's get on to the comment section to see what people are doing and what people are saying uh, before we take a very short break. Hey, studio, let me know what you comments. Guys, <laughs> that must uh, be much says hashtag I wish I asked if she would pay me rent when I go broke. <laughs> really? Really? Dennis Morena says Mkewangu was clever enough to knew Lisa everything. Ah, would like to know more about that, Dennis. They would tell yeah. us what are some of the questions Alikuliza, by the way. Wesley Omari says it is important to ask someone why they are there on the date. Wow, that's 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 an interesting one. Why are you here? 
That's, we will get back to that by the way. Yeah. First date, seek to know how someone came to meet you. Ah, I, I think that also goes back to why are you here? Abbas Lewa says hi. Hi to you, Lewa, and thank you so much for coming in. Yvonne Chebet, Karibu Sana, and Asema, I believe asking such might such might make us change minds about dating them. At times, Acha Ikuje too. Ah, so Yvonne <laughs> is on the opinion that you wait and, you know, let things flow. Gaddafi Nyakwa Nyakwar or Juang Weekly. Hey, okay, sawa. Hashtag at in heart. You sound like type who set high standards and deliver less. Ladies of such characters are never smart, upstairs to offer. Who, who, who would like to, would like to know who, who that is? <laughs> First digital TV says, what makes you sad? Yes, yes, I agree with that. What makes you sad? Exactly. I mean, you need to know. Maybe what you want to be, but then when people answer such questions, you're like, wow. What makes you sad or maybe what's the saddest moment you've ever had or what do you do when you're sad i don't know so many how things can handle, be. how do you handle your low moments exactly anyway. Mm -hmm. anyway uh we want to take a very short break we're coming back with the gossip section and this time round we're bringing we're bringing in a story that you want to relate with as as we diversify and go out there and talk to you guys and get to know are these things really affecting marriages also Let's take a short break. I came to Nairobi for the first time in my life after campus, you know, like uh -huh. after campo. Nikita Belean, Tiamu, Lani here and there, but officially I came uh, after campus. And one thing that I told myself deep down in Jambio Kodani, I have never seen women. I have not been seeing women. <laughs> the women are here. <laughs> My, my, the question I literally regret that I never asked was this guy's achievement because society has pictured us or rather has painted us as gold diggers, which is not uh, something any, any lady would want to be portrayed as. So I never asked this person the achievement. So into the relationship, I, I later realized with his age, Na the generation hakuna achievement amifanya and it was it wasn't good but you know says in guinea unajikuta you've literally messed but that's one question i wish i asked earlier right there she's talking about moments she never asked about achievements of this guy only to realize that this guy has no goals she has nothing you know with him and she regretted all through and anyway, welcome back remember hashtag gas talk hashtag at in heart and remember what you saw should you say alikuja nairobi aka realize hey sijaona wasichana wa rembo wasichana wa rembo so creative space <laughs> every single friday so join us every single friday as we bring you everything creativity we bring all sorts of you know creatives on board and we have um a talk with them again kesho tuko na shida za matajiri matajiri <laughs> She does have a tajiri, Eli Likuyani, against all odds on Sunday, a family edition on Saturday. All those lined up for you. So join us every single day. I think, I think, the Monday to buy there to na show. Every day to go to our oh. different host, different, you know, I think it's happening on Art in Hat on YouTube, the Hat in Hat official. Now, getting to a gossip corner, guys, yeah? There's a story that went viral some time back of Betty Chalo, mm -hmm. um, and, and I want us to take us in a very open-minded, as um, you know, uh, situation. So she mm -hmm. she got mad. She was dating this guy, then broke up at some mm -hmm. point. You know, when you say, let's take a break, broke up at some mm -hmm. point, dated some senior guy, then later mm -hmm. on got back with the guy, and mm -hmm. they wedded. And after, uh, you know, a, a year or two, everything just went down was it months you know so my question is um so rumors has it that um the issue of you know when breakup happened there was this issue of this other guy which is what caused the breakup after the marriage because things came up that now the the new boyfriend or should i say husband realized later so do you mm -hmm. feel like marriage is a scam first of all or do you feel like there are things that needs to be discussed you know, when you date someone and you get into marriage, or when now you're getting to that point where now I'm comfortable with this guy, do you feel like there are some discussions we avoid? Like in this scenario, they did not talk about when you are on a break, what happened? Yanduko, do you feel like um, something, first something of all, was hard first enough? Of all, first of all, I seriously believe in the marriage institution, and I yes, think it yes, is a sacred yes. institution. 
And I honestly uh -huh. think that before we get to the point where we want to settle down and, you know, make a family, we have to mm -hmm. address all the questions. We, we want to know what are your fetishes? What makes you happy? What makes you sad? You know, th mm -hmm. these are important mm -hmm. conversations. Um, yeah. What, 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 you know, we, we cannot ignore to talk about, even mm -hmm. if we were dating and, and uh, went on a break. Now, a break is uh, mm -hmm. specific to every couple because yes. there are those who, when they take a break, they are allowed mm -hmm. to see other people. Yes. And there are those that when they take mm -hmm. a break, it is they're taking a break to work on them. So you have to understand uh -huh. and talk with your partner and have this conversation and discuss, are we taking a break to work on us or are we taking a mm -hmm. break to explore further? Okay? Mm -hmm. So if you're taking mm -hmm. a break to explore, that's a whole different story because you'll take yes. a break and do your shenanigans and come back and it blows on your face with Bayasana. So I think mm -hmm. these are conversations you should have uh, after the mm -hmm. break before you mm -hmm. come back and decide mm -hmm. a marriage is supposed to be a forever thing and i do not think that people mm -hmm. get into marriage into marriage just to get divorced yeah yeah, yeah 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 so true. Um, i think these are questions that should be addressed what what happened during the time that you were apart yeah because when after a break you're coming back mm -hmm. to like know this person again because there yeah. are aspects yeah, of yeah. them that might have mm -hmm. changed yeah, yes. they are, they are there is a way they've started to see life that is not the same way they used to view it previously. So mm -hmm. these are conversations you should have and treat it like a mm -hmm. first meeting. It's like a mm -hmm. first date after you're meeting mm -hmm. me again, the new me that yes. was working on self or was seeing other people, right? Yeah, yes, so you should and, set and the, rules, the ground rules for your yes. time apart. Yeah. And and also feel like like Nyanduko, you said um it could be you've taken a you're taking a break to work on you or you're taking a break to you know go and explore and probably if anything happens you get back. Mm -hmm. Either way, if we happen to get back, it's important to ask these questions. It's important because yeah. maybe there's a baby, there's a baby that came along yeah. and now you're back yeah. and you think this guy things happen, man, say, in, in even a week or two. So no ring. <laughs> One day, baby. <laughs> by the way, by the way, I believe, uh -huh. I believe before you before you take that thing that we call break. Okay, mm -hmm. you're already in a relationship with Nadia. Okay, we need to take a break because there is something we need to work on. Mm -hmm. Um, the first okay, there are some questions that I feel you need to ask the two of you. You need to ask each other before. What if, yeah, okay. Uh, okay. For the break. You're planning for that mm -hmm. break for maybe one yes. year or two months mm -hmm. or three months. Mm -hmm. Then the questions are yeah, you need to ask what mm -hmm. what will happen if when the Uko no pate, Shetaria mm -hmm. and there is someone else that you've planted in a human being. I get mm -hmm. you understand what I'm talking about. Yes. Um, <laughs> if I go outside there, uh -huh. and all of a sudden I'm capital D. What will happen? Mm -hmm. You know. So those are questions and yeah, mm -hmm. personal, you need to ask one another and you know how to mm -hmm. go about it. If this happens, then it will not work again. You know, so that ah, you know, uh -huh. even after break, mm -hmm. you not come there and say, oh, baby, I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. You're just mm -hmm. like, okay, this is what we talked about and I messed, mm -hmm. so it is mm -hmm. not going to be the same again. Ah, yeah. okay. Because Getting you know, really. at a position where mm -hmm. you may have to say, no, I'm saying, Jue, you may have to them. So wait yeah. yeah. Ah, okay. All right. Now, um, coming back to you guys again. Leo now in America was spotlight. Have you ever had a guy asking you indirect questions? Have you had your friend having indirect Chalia na Uliza, but Hataku questions? Or you yourself? Have you ever gone on a date but you've been asking direct questions like, hey, Unaka, you Unaka Vizuri, someone has been taking care of you? You know that's an indirect question, right? That is not a question, Nata. That's, that's, that's not a, that's that's a, a statement. statement. I love that's a statement. That. <laughs> so how do you? I wanted to ask Noreen if someone just made such a statement to you. Hey, unaka vizuri, and kwani kuna mtu amekuaki. Let me make it a question. Unaka vizuri, inaonekana kuna mtu amekuaki kutekia kia ama. That's a question. Would you answer that? Mm -hmm. Same, e, e conversation in Endawapi. So you mean there must be someone who is supposed to take care of me, but mm -hmm. I cannot take care of myself. Of yourself. Ah, lazima, okay. Lazima, 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 take care. No, I need to take care of myself first before mm -hmm. you come mm -hmm. in. But you don't just ask me such a question that someone is taking good care of me because I know mm -hmm. I care about myself. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever deliberately 
um mm-hmm. ignore the question <laughs> yeah yeah ah, okay yeah. What yeah, what I mean. what happened? What Nyanduko welcome back? What what happened? <laughs> Wait, what what was happened? Yeah, I was actually here. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yes. I, I had to take care of something. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Have, you, uh-huh. have, you, have, you, have you ever had body shaming issues? What? Wow. That, yes. That and Nyanduko. Yes. I, now you go on a date. Mm-hmm. After it's you go date for Kake, and now mm-hmm. you meet this guy. Mm-hmm. Me, I hate comments like should I should I buy you no, really. okay. so no, no, that anyone is comfortable to say that to you is actually very wrong and you should not be going yeah. out with anyone who, who is comfortable telling you things like that. I'm telling you, Nyanduko, there's wow. a man who told me that. And that time I used to be so skinny. <laughs> <Don't>. <laughs> and, and I you know, uh, thank, thank you for the meeting. Um, it was nice meeting you. And um, eat the food and go. Let me tell you what happens. And I know, guys are watching. I know guys are watching. When you ask a lady a question that uh, they feel they're not so comfortable with answering mm-hmm. you or responding to you, they'll mm-hmm. be on their phones. Like, what are you doing? What are Mm, me, I think like, I just remember, me, I think I think you should also talk about date etiquette because the way Noreen is saying that you come with your phone <laughs> on the date, you are using your you're like um, no 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 that's that's no, another no, no, whole uh, no, 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 no. what I'm saying is there are some mm-hmm. questions someone can ask you and you feel like they have, they have already pissed you off you know mm-hmm. so you want out like that's like Matusi. Yeah. <laughs> that, on that is that personal. <laughs> that's big. Yeah, that's so personal. So when you're talking about my body, again, you're not telling uh-huh. anything very positive about how I appear. Ukotua pozile za. you're not eating. You expect me there to is, sit there and look at you. Yeah, yeah I might not in. walk away. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. There is something guess, about people who are not politically correct when they are talking about people's bodies or people's health. I just, they, they just ask me. For some reason, I just cannot, I, I will tell you, yeah. before I get to using my phone on that date, mm-hmm. I will just tell you, um, I'm, not, I'm not okay with you saying that to me. I do mm-hmm. not think it is appropriate for you to ask that mm-hmm. or, to com- or to say that. Uh, we have a very long one here from Victoria and Kata. Uh, I think you should take that, Frida, before we continue the discussion. There are so many questions one should ask before they get married. So many people like the idea of weddings, but not marriage. You want to address all aspects of life, same way you would analyze all your life aspects. Where do you do you all intend to be in the next 2, 5, 10, 20 years spiritually, financially, career-wise, eventually, and as a family? That is Victorian Kada. Who? that is deep. You need to know a lot about um you know the mm-hmm. other person and where they where they, they want to be the next five, ten years. But we're going to get into that as we talk about the don'ts. There are also questions you're not supposed to ask on the uh-huh. one. Right? Mm-hmm. We'll be getting to that on yeah. the on the that on the that segment. But before we do that, Nyanduko, have you ever um avoided a question because you're like, you know what? Uh that is extreme, but I'm just gonna let it go. Ever. There are people who want to come on, on, on a first date and want to know everything about your ex. I mean, I why? <laughs> if it's him, you want to date or me? We have to agree. If you want to date him, I can give you his number. But if it is me, we are talking about what are we talking about him? Now you come there and then he's like, What was he like? You know, why? Talk about I feel that I feel like that, 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 that is insecurity. security. I feel like I that know, is insecurity. Once, once, a guy shows, once a guy shows an insecurity like that on a first day, they want yeah, to know. Yeah, yeah. You are allowed to ask if I am in communication with my ex. That is not extreme. Yeah. But now you want to yeah. know how he used to treat me. You want to know things. I do want to become him. There's a reason I left him in the first day. Okay? Ellie, look what Ellie says. The question Ellie is talking about. I, I want to get okay. to that actually, Noreen, before you mm-hmm. come in. Eli Lukiani says, Apoka body count, please, to pay when we limp bingoni. I feel like that's something that you should avoid in all ways. Don't ask about people's body count. Just don't. Yeah. I don't ask me unless you really want to know. Hi, Pips. Don't mm-hmm. ask unless you really want to know. Whether well, you want uh, to know or not. Let me tell you, Frida. Uh-huh. 
the body count, whether it's 50 or 49, if you ask a chick, it will always be three. Be three. Is there X? <laughs> it is always three. So, unless the, you want to be their like first this. love, they are X. And, and someone, someone else who she wasn't sure. Their first love, someone they were not sure about was a mistake. Yes. And then and the X. their ex. The immediate and their ex. ex. So, so you, we you are, are the next one. The <laughs> <Let's laughs> <go to> one. <laughs> Noreen. Noreen, if a guy asked to do asked you today about body count, what would your reaction to that? Hey, <laughs> uh, maybe I'll just look at them because for me, I don't I don't mm -hmm. feel nitakuwa comfortable kumjibu at that point. I'll not be comfortable to answer them at that moment. So what would be the answer? Go in your mother kwa day to nini? I'll bring in something else. I'll bring in something else. There is a way ah, of okay. you always avoid. Frida, okay. I honestly think, yes. think that uh, there are questions you, you ask as the relationship progresses. They're not yes. questions you just prepare out of the blues and you want to ask people about who they've been sleeping with. I mean, if if it was to be broadcasted, in Gekuina, ongeza number up for forehead every other day. But these are questions <laughs> yeah. that you ask someone as the relationship progresses, like as you get to know this person more, as you get to know mm -hmm. what they're comfortable sharing about themselves. Because there are people who have a past yeah. they do not yeah. they, they wish yeah. to not get back to, you know. And mm -hmm. asking asking about it, unless you have really progressed into that stage in the relationship, I do not think mm -hmm. it's, it's actually appropriate. So as yeah, as Frida said, we should get to that other segment where we talk about. Questions you really shouldn't not to ask. Hey, and you before we go to that, before before we take a short break, I want to ask a very very serious question. You have a baby. Would you go with your baby on a first date? Let me tell you, Frida. I, yes. I want to jump on that for you. You know, yeah. it, I, don't, I don't have to. I don't have to come with my baby, but it is something uh -huh. I put out there on a first date. Hello, my mm. name is Two Four. I am a mom. Yeah, before because that's the rest of my anything else. Before I mm -hmm. tell you, oh, I am a teacher, I am a comedian, I am a mother first. Because ah. we have to agree, mm -hmm. if you're taking me, I'm coming, mm -hmm. I have baggage, I'm coming as a package. There's someone coming with me. So it's mm -hmm. either you want us as, as, as a package or you don't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yes. So, so choose, choose your battle out there on the first date. Mm -hmm. And now that you've mentioned that, I actually had a Kate actress, this actress, you know, I'm sure you know her. That is what she used to introduce mm -hmm. herself. I'm Kate mm -hmm. and I'm a mom. Noreen? Yeah. <laughs> you have a baby. Uneza beba. Uneza beba mtoto on a date. Kwenda na kwa date. Ni mtoya na ni mdogo. So you you feel like you want to go with her. You have to go for this date. Would you? Mtoto mtoto ni mdogo and I'm the one taking care of that baby. I'm going on a mm -hmm. date. I'll not just mm -hmm. go enjoy niache mshangu akilia peke yake because mm -hmm. this I'm imagining I don't I do not have mm -hmm. a help I do not have someone else to take care of my baby nita beba mziko yangu I go with them mm -hmm. though before I go mm -hmm. with the baby I'll let him know <laughs> nakuja okay nakuja okay binawashwa binawashwa let me just let me just let me just speak my mind I think yes. before I introduce my baby to anyone, I have to actually trust this person. I actually have to know who this person is before, you know, mm -hmm. before I mm -hmm. actually introduce them to you, a kid. Yeah, baby. Someone, I do not have the time to come it's and you know, you, you'll confuse your baby and you want to come. Okay. Okay. I think something has happened. Let's see what people have to say in the comment section. Uh, studio, before we take a short break, Eli Likuyani says, I'm dating you, not your baby. Are we clear? Alafu, we have changed the questions. It's not, do you have a baby? It's how many lives are you responsible for? Aha. Aha. Okay. Ha, sawa, Eli, we see you. Wesley Omari says, what was the reason behind your last breakup? Uh, I would actually would want to know that. I would want to know your sink of what, what really happened, you know. It gives you a lot of, uh, what are some of the red flags you need to look for when it comes to this guy. So I feel like that a question actually I would want to ask. Anyway, uh, Boniface uh, Witaba says, hey, Elia, me check at you, Elia, me amua. Not how, <laughs> let me, let me you're responsible for. Let me go back to what Ellie said before we get. Let to me the read this, answer. then you you can you can respond. Victoria and Kaga oh. says, but why would you want to know about someone's body count? I find that a bit off and maybe a bit teenage teenagerish. I agree with you, Victoria. Aha, uh -huh, Noreen. 
Uh, Hello so, guys, Raja Bosman. Welcome, Sana. Hi. Uh-huh. This Ole. is the thing. Uh-huh. Asema, he's not dating the baby. You know, this is a date. You are not specific yes. when you're asking if I'll carry my baby to that date. You know, mm-hmm. we don't know if it's the first date, the second date, or the third date. Ah, you know? okay. So it okay. wasn't specific that on the first ah, date, okay. I carry my baby. It may yeah, okay. be my third date, my fourth date, Nitenda Namzigango. Before, because... During our mm-hmm. very first date, of course, when Nyanduko mm-hmm. said, when they go mm-hmm. there, I'm Nyanduko mm-hmm. and I am mm-hmm. a mother, right? I'm Noreen, yes. I'm a mother. Now, mm-hmm. this person already knows they are, mm-hmm. okay, you're a mother to someone. You're responsible, mm-hmm. you know, for taking yeah. care of mm-hmm. another being. Mm-hmm. So, yes. umefika hapo, there are things mm-hmm. we'll talk about. Yeah, you're mm-hmm. a mother. Someone will want to know more about it, you know. Already more about you here, being a mother. Hey. Yes, so yes, you, yes, you I agree with that. There, you get them to mm-hmm. okay, until Utaona reactions, Zake, you'll see how this person is, you'll see if mm-hmm. he's interested to take care of both of you. Then, mm-hmm. when you're called for another third date, manze mi sina mtuntati ya mtuangu, I'll come mm-hmm. with you. Unakuja na mtoe. Nitakuja na mtoto wangu, you know. Eh, hey, sawa, sawa, no. Hey. Introduce. <laughs> <laughs> We hear you uh, and, and agree you need to say that you have a baby. If I had a baby, I would say, hey, I'm Frida and I'm a mom. Eli Lukiani, sawa tu. Alafu sleepover siyo za watoto na mama yao. Kuja tu, tufanye MOU kwanza, sawa Noreen. Hey, Noreen. <laughs> Eli says, then mfanye uh, MOU and then no, muta agree what happens next. We are just going for this. <laughs> what is anyway, guys. Home. <laughs> Remember, it's hashtag uh, Gaston, hashtag Arts in Heart. We are taking a very short break, but we'll be right back and we're talking about some of the things you should never, the word is never, ask when it comes to a first date. Let's take a short break. We'll be back. <laughs> when people are dating, they assume they've known each other, but that's the face of marketing. Most of the time, few people <laughs> are very honest and genuine, and what they are expressing and they're displaying is their real self. But most of the people, they are good for that time so that they become a catch or they get a catch. That's why he says it's a deliberate step to take a risk to live with a stranger with hope of a good future. Hope has to be there. Probably there might be a good future uh, coming ahead in one way or the other. That is family edition right there. Cut that like every single Friday. We talk matters family. You know, kids, uh, husbands, marriages, Mm -hmm. weddings, things to do with family. So join in every single Friday at 9.30 p.m. We are back. And this is Noreen right here. But I want us, Noreen, to get onto the depth of the questions you should never ask. I mean, you got on a date with this person for the first time. Or maybe the second time. There are those questions you should never ask. This person with this person for the first time. Or maybe the second time. There are those questions you should never ask. And I want to restrict this to first or maybe second date, right? What are some of those questions you should never ask? And I, I, I should go first. And I feel like um, one of the questions you should never ask, assuming you've gone on a first date in, to someone's house, that's where the, the date is happening, you should never ask how much they are paying when it comes to their rent. What's your take on that? <laughs> I feel like that that gives us, and especially as Kenyans, yeah, it makes us feel like who day manager ribu create class. Me na ishi kwa nyumba ya two k, man ten k. I feel like um, you should never ask about rent. What's your take on that, Nuri? Hey, uh, okay, for me, I don't think mm-hmm. um, I don't know. Sioni kama nimbaya. Oh, I don't feel it's bad. Mm-hmm. For someone to ask me, because it uh, depends mm-hmm. for me to allow. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me assume I've invited mm-hmm. this guy on a date in my house. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. I'll not feel bad if he asked me that question. Mimi ni tamjibu, unless yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. I feel uncomfortable mm-hmm. when I ask mm-hmm. him that question. But for me, when I lipa pesa ngapi na lipa tu twelve foot tatu. And I'm okay with that. Maybe Mungu amemuonekania na anataka kunipeleka kwa nyumba ya 10,000. Na mimi nikataa posta hiyo kumwambia niko kwa hiyo. No. Aliyo naye ataona yeye mwenyewe si lazima nimwambie. Ah, Festito TV says the day PR itapungua kwa relationship, love will be love and marriage will be marriage. Wow. PR. And by the way, guys, sorry, I said Friday family edition is every Saturday. On Friday we have creative space. So yeah. Creative Space is on Friday. Join this Friday. And then uh, Family Edition is every Saturday, 9.30 p.m. Sorry for that um, 
whatever I did there for Lady Sana. <laughs> anyway, Noreen, what is that one question you should you will never ask on a first date? When uh, the question that I never ask on a first date, what well, this is this is a deep one, kidogo. But you mm -hmm. yes, it's like you need to on a first date, ni how mm -hmm. old I am. How many oh. years are you? How many old are you? No, don't ask me that because I'll not respond to you. Ladies with age. Yeah, why? Why Noreen? Why, why do you want to know my age? Do you need to why know me first. Know? We need to get ah, somewhere. Okay. And you know, this thing is headed somewhere. Now I'll get mm -hmm. you'll get to know about my ID. Utangalia sura ya ID yangu jua yenyewe ulivomechafa and yes. <laughs> now we can continue. <laughs> ah, okay. But never so ask me I about my age because nitakudanganya kama hata sitajibu. <laughs> <laughs> I also I also feel like Noreen on a first date you should never ask someone where this relationship is going. I know that sounds weird and sounds like not true or, or like you should really want to know. But I feel mm -hmm. like if you go on a date and as a lady and you're asking where this relationship is going, it sounds like a desperate kind of a move. Why why would you want to know that on a first date? I don't even know you. Yeah. So I can't even answer that. I feel like that is one yeah. Yeah. No, yeah and then and then you are here asking um i don't know what people are saying on the comment section maybe we should look at that as we yeah. continue remember guys it's hashtag gas talk hashtag at in heart and we are live on youtube the heart in heart official victoria and kada says never ask about my body count never ask me about how much i earn thank you i wanted to get to that vicky never ask about how much anyone earns unless mefika kabisa like we are getting to the money financial soon. Jekita says, don't ask for personal questions. For example, never ask to someone about his or her salary if he or she told you they are working. Some people have no manners. But then that's true. Just don't ask about mm. how much that's how that's much that's do you earn. Yeah. Mm, well, Ashley Omari says, don't. How much do you make? Exactly. I, think, I think money is, is such a sensitive um, yeah, space. A and guys, sensitive area. Now, now that they're talking about money, tomorrow to kona mashida za, ma, za matajiri. So we're talking matajiri. matters, money, na matajiri, and matajiri. Pia so joining at 9.30. Kesho. <laughs> <laughs> but before that, Noreen, um, you have this guy uh, who you're meeting for the first time. He looks like he's really doing well. You don't want to really ask specifically that how much do you earn? How do you feel like you'd frame that question? To sound not so personal, but still get some some sort of an answer to that question. Wow. Mm -hmm. How I should frame this question. Mm -hmm. And this guy, Anaka Kofoa. Anaka Kofiti, Gary, and a drive. Eh, Fungo, I'm a good one. He never quite knew your neighbor. What? Oh, okay. okay, okay. He, he, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, hey, so. How I'll ask this question. Aki si jinta uliza hate. Lakini, this is how I'll go to it. Jinta uliza uchali. By the way, you're doing well. You're doing well. Ama nianze kumuliza story na investments. By the way, have you heard about this and this investment company? Then they'll get to know. So it's like you're diverting to... Yes. Yeah, sit in the oh, direct, okay. but I'll ask mm -hmm. them something about investment companies so that mm -hmm. he gets to tell me about, uh, by the way, I invested this amount of money with this, mini, they are good, mini, mini. Mm -hmm. So from there, I'll get to know uh, who you say, ako ma, Uya ako laka, ako hapa. Yes. Ah, that makes yeah. sense. Nyanduko. <laughs> we are talking about money here. Uh, so many people in the been, conversation I have been following, I have been uh -huh. following that data. I uh -huh. think... Mimi, I'll just ask you. Mimi, being the direct person that I am, I'll just I'll tell you, Mimi, I am a teacher. Uh, I am not practicing at the moment, and this is why. These are my reasons. Uh, mm -hmm. What do you do? Uh, how much uh -huh. money? Mimi, I'll ask you how much money you make. Wow. What do you expect? I will. If you expect, uh, what do you expect? Like when we get together, what does that mean about financial security? Financial security is important, Frida. You need to yes, know if this person. Is. Yes. It is, but it you is, don't. But you know, you're not going to ask him at where you are twenty thousand. That is, those are not questions. And I, this is a, my opinion. These are not questions you ask on a first date. I still insist okay. that this is a question for me. This is financial security is a question you ask someone after you have realized that this is the person you want to be with. You know, mm -hmm. you you can't go on every date asking people how much money they make, unless you are a financial ah. advisor. You know, mm -hmm. but if it, you're you're basically 
just trying to find a partner, you can talk about financial security somewhere in your mm-hmm. relationship. Ah, okay, that goals. makes sense. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Now, I want us to end with this um, statement from Eli, and he says, hashtag that's in heart, hashtag that's talk, loving the conversation tonight. Thank you so much for being here. Do not ask me about my future, ask me about my failures and how I worked them out. Now, this is what I want you guys to, you know, end uh, ask me with. about all of them. God, <laughs> let, let, let me get on to the point of uh, my failures. Like, would you want to know more about failures? Or would you want to know more about the next five years? Would you want to know about the previous five years? I honestly think, or the you next... know what? Honestly... Choose one, Yanduko. Frida. Choose one. I... Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. I honestly think that, Mimi, I will want to know about the future. Your failures, okay, they made you the person you are today. Thank you. Mm-hmm. We are glad. We thank God. But please, mm-hmm. tell me about your plan. How does the future look according to you? How does it look mm-hmm. in your eyes? What is the projection? Five year, ten year, like, Nani was saying, but mm-hmm. not on a first date. After we have okay. established that you are the person I want to spend the rest of my life with. Okay? Mm-hmm. You know okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, Nyanduko, I believe, okay, Mimi, she choose Moja. I believe to ask questions <laughs> about both future and, and, uh, and past, the past. Because uh-huh. I really need to know how you handled what No, which one carries the heavyweight? Noreen, which, which one, one carries the heavyweight? Okay, okay, yes. carries the heavyweight. Oh, okay, so you go for the future if you had one choice to make. Oh lazima ni jue kila kitu. I have to know everything. I have to know where you talk about it. Uliba shambangati mahali ulienda. You know those accounts that. This you know you know this is this is what I feel, guys. Um, I feel for me, I would actually be interested on to um the last five years because it tells me a lot about if you are able to move the last five years to where you are. It can tell me a lot about where you've been the next three or five years. Because asking you about the future, it could be things you have in mind, but clearly you're here to impress me. I would like to know where you're coming from. Because that tells me a lot about who you are right now, the uh, the problems and challenges you face, and probably because you've che- you faced this in the next two years, I can, you know, I can estimate that room say, come on, you talk up, there's a chance that I move to this level. Because people can decide, mm-hmm. you know what? You want to know where I'm going to be in the next five years. By then, you may plan to buy my in the next two years. Hey! Mm. I feel like failures are speaking like more Frida, about Frida, person than we, are, we are really stretching this conversation. But I, I really yeah. think that you will know when someone is fumbling. Aki okay, will know when someone does not have, like... <laughs> Mimi, I honestly want uh, someone who has a plan. The plan might not work. The future. You know, things might yes, come yes, up. Yes. Like, yes. But I want mm-hmm. to know what is it that if everything remained constant and it was... You know, everything was to go as planned. Mm-hmm. What is it that you okay. want to achieve? Where do you, mm-hmm. what is your dream? Because Sasa, mm-hmm. we want to talk about your past. Maybe in the past you made good money, you know, you were born and, if, and now you're mm-hmm. not there. How are we recovering? What is the recovery <laughs> plan? Me, yeah, I want to know why you failed. Anyway, guys, we are we are out of time. So, Noreen, 30 seconds. 30 seconds, part in short. Um, first date. What is that? One thing you would really want everyone as a lady to ask. The one thing. The one thing that I really want everyone to ask. I know it's a tough one. Mm -hmm. It's, Mm -hmm. yeah, it is, it is. But uh, I really want to know um, how their past relationship was like. Uh, Okay, Mimi, I'm talking on behalf of of ladies and uh, personally, you know, Mm -hmm. relationship yako ilikuwa aje before, but we are not getting Uh, into deep nini, uh, deep uh conversation of it. But I just uh-huh. want to know. Mbona, mbona a big figure. Ah, okay. Yeah. That's what all right. I mean. Nyanduko, tell us. Are you married? Do you have <laughs> kids? Have you ever been married before? I want <laughs> to know. Because to know. we will settle. And then baby mama comes with four children and it's a whole other drama. So I really want to know, have you ever been married before? Do you have kids somewhere in this country or in any other mm-hmm. country that might, you know, pop up or yeah. not, but you mm-hmm. have them? Yeah. All right. I feel like someone has actually given me a question. I would really tell the ladies to ask, why are you here? Someone asked on the comment section, you'd ask someone, that was, why that are you was here? Messy. That was yeah, where you came. That was... Tell them, yeah, I'm here for the food. <laughs> I eat. <laughs> <and> my drinks. 
<laughs> I'm here to enjoy your company. I'm here because I was born at home. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for being here. That has been, yeah, that was Wesley. It is important to ask someone why they are there on the date. Wesley, thank you. You've given me something to live with this night. Thank you so much. It has been Gas Talk, hashtag Gas Talk, every single Wednesday, 9.30. Um, to again, next Wednesday, 9.30. Kesho, she does a matajiri ziko. Friday, creative space. Saturday, family edition. Family and edition. Sunday, Against all Against odds. All Thank odds. you so much. <laughs> and see you next Wednesday. Bye. Bye bye. bye. Ulitizama kitanda changu kimeja kunguni. Godoro mchimbili Ukasema wani penda Awal Simu yangu masekete Guo zangu matambara Jatu vilivyo chapisho viraka Ukasema wani penda Kutoka ndani ya roho Tulipoenda bafuni ngawe Sabuni ya kipande hey, Uzini wakunia Ukasema ujali Fanaka uchoka kwa mula Sasa iweze leo hii Nasikia fununu choka kwa rafiki zako Kuwa wani patalaka Sasa iweze leo hii Hadithi za kuwa mini kaza ni yambia Mapenzi haya ya mekuchosha Sasa iweje leo hii Na amiwa osema umasikini wangu Wewe umekuchosha Nina chomba baby Nipende nilivyo Baby nipende nilivyo Zawari ya fana Toka kwa mola Mafanikio Kutoka kwa mola ah, Baby